Hey guys, it's Olivia and I am here with Lily. We are going to our friend's birthday dinner and we're gonna do like a little chit chat, get ready with me, and this is our final faces. So if you wanna see the rest of the video and how we got here, just keep watching. If you think you recognize Lily, it's probably because she was in my birthday vlog and if you I wanna was. see that video, you can go Click down, down there, it's gonna be there. Um, we had Korean barbecue and it was really fun. <laughs> so, to prime my face, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover Primer and I'm just gonna do a little pump of that and then put it all over my face. So I don't use primer, Lily is just a little extra. Yeah. So I'm gonna be using just some like basic face lotion, moisturizing my face. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go in with my CC cream and I'm just gonna get a couple pumps and put that all over my face. Anyways, as I was saying earlier, like my face right now is like super clear than it usually is. Like usually when I'm like on my period, it's like really bad, but like it's nice today and I'm happy. So I just blend it in with my fingers cause like I don't have time for a beauty blender. I do have time. I'm actually gonna do one more step before that. I take my naked color correcting skin in green because I have a lot of redness on my skin. So I like to just correct that. So I just put some little dots on my skin and then I blend it in with my pink beauty blender. I think you guys should know how excited Lily is to be here right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would love to be a beauty guru. You should do it. Um, what are we getting ready for? Maddie's birthday. I hate like using, I know this is a waste, I'm sorry. Um, using my hands, like right after I put on like CC cream or something because it just like gets all over my other products and I just don't like, like on my other eyeliner, my Kat Von D, it's just like fully <laughs> like <all> fingerprinted. <laughs> And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation and I am in the shade 112 or 112 or whatever, <laughs> I don't I don't know, but because um, I'm really pale. And I know I'm going to be putting on like some lip product, so I'm going to be using Macaroon Rose. Oh, I might be misspelling, misspelling well, that. that's a lot. That is a lot. It like, there's no pump on this, which is really annoying. Actually, Maudie gave this to me. Shout out to her. Shout out to that gal. Happy birthday. So I don't know what step I should take next because I have a lot of stuff. So I think I'm going to put eyeshadow on first. So I'm way ahead of Lily because <laughs> Lily has more steps than I do and I'm like very simple in my makeup. Um, I, I'm a little more extra in my makeup. Blotting it with this age instant age rewind by Maybelline, right? Mm -hmm. I think I just skimmed a name and I was like, that should sound like it. Can I use this? Yeah. Sure. Like keep it. it. Keep it. Take it. Home. Take it. Home. Have um, fun with it. Keep it. Okay. So I feel like I'm missing stuff. Yeah. I mean, like I definitely left my eyebrow pencil over there, which is great. Can you stand up for a second? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, mother. And then I'm going to use my Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade Fair. And I'm just gonna do um, some little triangles under my eye. Whoops, got that in my hair. Got it in my hair. I don't think I left it. Am I in the frame? Yeah, um, it's right, it's right here, fellas. I'm done, sorry. I'm gonna be going in with this Sweet Peach Palette by Too Faced. And I'm gonna take the shade Bellini and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lids. And since I don't have a crease, cause you know, I'm monolids. <laughs> I'm just gonna take some Bellini. Whoa, I don't want that much. Stop. I would also like to say that I found this look like recently, like on YouTube, just by myself. <laughs> and I'm doing like my own like DIY, you know? JK, not DIY, what am I saying? And I'm setting my face with the Cody air spun powder. So I just did that under my eyes and then I'm gonna put a little just all around my face. 
So I'm kind of like going in like where the crease would be and I'm kind of like put like sticking my eye, eye my brush um, <laughs> in like in the crease and then I'm just kind of like going through the top of my lid like that. I don't know if that's like enough but we'll go back just in case that isn't. Um, then I'm going to go in with Summer Yum and it's kind of like a maroon brownish color like with a little bit of red. And I'm going to put that on like my outer V. Um, on like my outer third. Now we're going to go in with my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And I'm in the shade 1. <laughs> the lightest shade? Yes. Yeah. Aren't I always though? Um, so I don't really have eyebrows like I do. They're just very light. I basically just fill in everything and more. It's a process. This will actually be my first time like going out in eyeshadow because I, I hate eyeshadow because they don't have creases. Uh -oh. And like I feel like it always looks so weird, but I don't know. I just I think I just did a damn good job right now. Like sometimes my eye crease is too much that like I can't like put on eyeliner because I have like the creases are different. But like you have like an actual crease like right in there. Yeah. Like that's like the one thing that like all the YouTubers I watch have. I'm gonna use Nectar with this kind of like angled eyeshadow brush right there and I'm just gonna kind of put it in the inner corners of my eye and then blend it out with Bellini that was on my lids. I think this eyeshadow is pretty good. Like for, mm -hmm. for like, yeah, like I'm not gonna lie, like I'm impressed with myself. What are you not? Like Olivia, <laughs> it definitely looks. You're pre-algebra. Oh my god, <laughs> don't even pre-algebra. We thing. took pre-algebra together, and we absolutely just made a fool of ourselves. <laughs> it was. Rough. It was hard. Like I'm not even kidding you. Like it was pretty hard. Yeah. I really just wish I wouldn't have been placed into that class. Yeah, but we didn't have the option. I didn't know. I know. I was kind of like impressed with myself. Though. When yeah. I got the schedule, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm smarter than kids and like the yeah. A level. I, yeah. But like I'm We're not as smart as like honors, but like that's like I'll take good medium and then I just yeah. absolutely like And then I was messed like, up my really life. just wish I was an A. And I think I'm just going to blend out like to make it a little less sharp. Mm hmm Whoa. Oh, that was a good one though. Uh, okay. Wait, now we're, now oh. we're committed. Wait, no, my backtracks are never like loud. Like only like I can kind of hear. So next I'm gonna go in with Puree with this another like angled eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna put it on my lower thirds of like the bottom of my eye. Eye? My eye? And this just like will even out the tones. I used to make my eyebrows very like boom boom and I'm trying to make them a little more natural looking. If I like come out here looking like a queen, I'm gonna like be doing eyeshadow every day. I swear. You know Julian? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Of I'm course aware. you know I'm Julian. Julian. Shout out Julian. He always um like yeah. Snapchats me like him doing his makeup, and he always looks so good. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, cause he went in drag. Like I, but I want to put someone in drag. <laughs> and then I just use my Anastasia clear brow gel. Um, and then I'm gonna go back in with that a nectar color that I put in the corners of my eyes and then I'm gonna kind of put it on this part of the eyelid like that part. I, I take my Kat Von D shade and light palette the best contour palette ever. I'm gonna mix the first two shades but I'm more gonna go on the first shade because I'm pale She's yeah pale. and I think it goes better with red undertones which I have so I'm just gonna poke it because it's it's really pigmented, so you don't wanna go too heavy-handed. My L'Oreal's brow stylist definer in the shade dark brunette. Um, and I have like pretty full eyebrows, like I'm not gonna lie. And I'm proud of that. <laughs> but I just like to fill in like the end parts because it gets a little sparse near the end, and I like to make them longer. I also like to put a little on my forehead, but I don't like the like heavy-handed look of that. I just like to give it a little more definition, but don't want to go crazy because that ain't cute. So I use a spoolie and I kind of just like blend it out and like extend it from there because I don't want to like really go, if you know what I mean. 
All right, I think that's set. My setting brush. Uh, I just realized I haven't been talking about any of my other brushes. And I take this first shade and I just go under the contour to just kind of like make it pop a little bit more. I'm going to take my Hourglass blush in the shade Mood Exposure. No. Yeah, Mood Exposure. But I already have pretty rosy cheeks, so I'm just going to tap like a little bit and then I like to tap it off and then I like to like hit it against my hand for like a little bit just because I don't want to get too much product on my face. Custom enhancer drops from Cover FX in this shade Celestial. And these are very pigmented, so I like to just do like put a little bit on my hand, the back of my hand, and then I just take my ring finger and I just place it on my cheekbone, but then I just rub it in because the warmth from your fingertips will just blend it in. So I just do that for a little bit until they're all blended into my face. The concealer doesn't like fully stick, I guess, like on my face when it's dry. So I'm gonna like go and like reapply on some of the areas that I have like my blemishes so I can just like reapply that and it'll stick. I have some discoloration like around my nose area and I don't know why. So next I'm gonna go in with I just sprayed my face with Max Fix Plus, and then I used my Urban Decay All Nighter because this try this just makes your makeup less powdery, but it doesn't really prolong your makeup. But this will prolong it. So I'm trying to go slow just for you. So yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm the, almost done. Okay, you have eyeshadow. I know. I'm almost done. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with this Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof. I love this one because it is so like it's so small and you can like take it everywhere with you so i was looking for the word um and also small. like it has pretty good coverage i was gonna use another word like travel portable 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 i'm going to set my eyelids with my instant age rewind it's just easy and you don't have to carry around um a makeup primer and like it works so yeah, so I just like to press that in with my fingertip, and then after that, I'll set it with loose powder. Because I'm extra. I'm yeah. using my Anastasia Modern Renaissance, which is actually supposed to be pronounced Renaissance. Are you kidding? Yeah, because that's how like British people say it. I'm putting burnt orange in my crease. Now I'm going to be using Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, I always get shiny like throughout the day and like I'm a very oily person as well so I have to carry around blotting papers in my backpack and I'll just like take them out during class and you know blot my face because I'm extra. extra I get also very oily around my t-zone area I have to pack like quite a bunch without being cakey um, on my t-zone then I'm gonna take raw sienna and I'm also gonna put that in my crease but I'm not gonna put it all over I'm just gonna put it in like the inner V-ish sort of part of my crease. Oh. Kat Von D's tattoo liner, like I've literally, I use this religiously. Um, I think it's in the shade Trooper, it says that. I don't know if it's a shade or like what it symbolizes, but so what I do is like a winged eyeliner, but I don't really go up, I kind of go like out. Um, and I feel like that just like works better for my eyes. And I normally don't start like in the big front, but oh, I learned a lot harder when you have eyeshadow on it. So, do you have eyeliner? Mother, mother. Um, my eyeliner is like not working as well and it's because I put on eyeshadow before. So do you have like another liquid liner that will be more like prominent on my eyes? <sighs> Sorry, I'm asking her for so much. Shout out to my mom, but like also shout out to me because I'm filming this video for her. <laughs> will that work well? Mm -hmm. oh, 
most black and most waterproof. Okay, so, bye bye. Okay, we got time. So this is Skin Food. I haven't heard of this brand. Waterproof tip pen eyeliner. I wanna see if it's like felt. Yeah, so I'll tell you my reviews after I use it. It definitely does show up. I'm gonna put Primavera all over my lid because we're gonna go for a sparkly look. Wow. This is definitely impressive. Like, that is really black. <laughs> Whoa, that is black. That's, I like this. Like, this is, I give a good review, like five out of five. Olivia approves. Olivia approves. And then I just put some Vermeer in my lid to just sparkle it up. I guess, I guess my only complaint is that like when I put it on my lid, I like, went like that and then it just got all over my lid so thanks mm. <laughs> so thank you for that and then i'm just gonna put the same crease colors um on my lower lash line to just balance my face a little bit more it's definitely very moist i will say that. like i hate that word but How it dare is you say very that word. wet it <laughs> but it dries quickly so like i'm fine with it but like Moist is the worst word ever, but like you just know what you mean by it. Like there's no other word to describe yeah. something. And with a Q-tip, I just kind of like fix the ends. I don't want to do that. Oh. <laughs> Didn't check if that was clean. Um, and then I'll kind of just like make it a sharp line up, going up. Ooh, wow, I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a rough day. What is going on, Olivia? Whoa, I really messed it up. The only good part about like having a hair part is that when I do this, you can't even see like the tip of like that. Mm -hmm. So it's like in the morning when I'm rushing and putting on my makeup, it doesn't matter if it's neat or not. <laughs> All right, I am done with my um, eyeshadow, but now I'm going to move on to curling my eyelashes. So I'm just using a Sephora eyelash curler that I've had since like seventh grade. I think I'm gonna go back later and just like fix it up a little bit if I need to but for now I'm actually gonna go in with my eyelash color as well so I'm going to take my L'Oreal voluminous original I just think with mascara like it's just better to go drugstore because I like to throw mine out pretty occasionally when it gets clumpy so like I don't feel bad oh by the way this eyelash curler is Kevin, <laughs> I don't know his last name. Aquan. Aquan. He or she? Who knows? He. Um. Okay. My lashes go down and they don't naturally like go yeah. up and like I'm they're sure that so happens long, to though. other people. Yeah, they're long, but like you can't see them, <laughs> so it's hard to like work with this. And then I also like don't want to put on mascara because like I don't need them longer, but I need them like thicker. Mm -hmm. Um. So I can't really do anything about that. I just kind of curl them and then like let them be. So they look like I like have Physicians Formulas um, Butter Bronzer. I don't normally use this. I don't like as in bronzer. Like I don't usually use bronzer. But since, you know, it's a party. Girls also, I don't wear makeup every day because I'm way too lazy. That. This is, I will back rub on that. She's very lazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she likes her sleep. Like, <laughs> we have late start and we start at like 8.50, but she would rather sleep in than put on a full face of makeup. And I really oh, yeah. like that. I put on mascara and that's it. And you, sometimes I'm even a little too late doing that. So, but like, I love makeup. So when I get the chance, I like to wear it. But when I don't, it's fine. Yeah, so I'm just going in with my Sigma large angled contour brush. I'm just gonna, I put that like on my cheeks like as you saw, and I did it on my chin. I'm just kind of doing it on my forehead to like warm up my face, cause I am a little, not pale, cause like, I'm not gonna make fun of you. Not fun of you, but like, you know. It's, it is a little, it is a little like lighter than I usually am, I feel like. Um. And I curled my hair while my mom did. 
Um, I don't think I'm gonna put on blush because like I naturally get really hot and really red. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm just gonna use this Tarte inner rim liner. And I like using nudes on my inner rim because I think it just looks a little more natural. Next, I'm gonna go in with my one and only Champagne Pop by Becca. This is like Wait, what is my it? favorite. And I'll show you why, because like when you put it on, you're just kind of like amazed. Like, can you see it yet? Girl, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it and it's just so amazing. Like, oh, oh. Oh, oh, it gives me like chills. I also want to highlight that nose and then um, my cupid's bow. Because um, you know, all about that highlight life. I'm all about that face, no trouble. 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 I'm all about that face, 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 face. I'm gonna go in with Sugar's Rose. I really like this color because it's like a red, but it's like kind of opaque at the same time. Does that make sense? I know what you mean. Like there's color there, but it's not like crazy. Yeah, it's not intense. So yeah, this is our final look. <laughs> I think I like it. Like I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not mad at like, it. Like from the distance, it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> but up close, maybe not. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm wearing like this white tank top. And it kind of is just like, it's like kind of wavy and stuff like that. But I'm going to be wearing um, black jeans afterwards. A jean jacket over that. I am wearing this green off the shoulder top from Subdued. And you can't really see, but I'm just wearing some nice black leggings. This choker is from Urban Outfitters. And um, I'm wearing some nice hoops. She always wears hoops. Hoops is her specialty. And I do like hoops. Like, I've been getting into them. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends if you want. If you want like a more in-depth tutorial on like my eyeshadow look for you mono-lidded people out there, my homies, <laughs> just comment down below. I'll be putting her Instagram. Oh my god. Down. Actually, we'll just like type it so you can pause this video right now. Follow her. It's Lily Kaniger. Um, and then you can follow me if you want. <laughs> Olivia on. So I do have like specific things that I look for when someone requests to follow me and like I know they're usually like from my mom's YouTube channel. You should be following my mom because like I don't want like a random person just like found me and they're not following my family. But that's how it is. Sorry if I haven't accepted your follow request yet. Request again to <laughs> notify me if it's like been there for a long time. I'm so sorry. Comment if you want more of Lily. Yes. <laughs> okay, bye. Or me. <laughs>